So what's up everybody, Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel, hope you're doing fantastic. So let's go over this, it's a quick video today, we have talked about this already in a couple of videos, this is ongoing, but one thing that I missed uh, was this part underneath this article we here, which I think it's quite revealing. So let's go there in a sec, and uh, as you know, there's an investigation ongoing in Australia, and uh, there's already bots going around or counterclaims saying that this whole FBI involvement in the Australia thing, it's BS, that it's not true, all of that. And it turns out, actually, that the FBI, most likely, it's already there. It's already in Australia. And I tell you why. So, as you can see here, this they interview this retired FBI agent, attorney Bobby Chachon, or Chachon, I don't know how you pronounce that, or Chacon, sorry, uh, said it would not be unusual for the FBI to assist a foreign government with an investigation such as this one. Also, the FBI maintains an office in Canberra, and there are FBI agents permanently, right here, permanently assigned to Australia on a, on a rotating basis, Shashon told Law and Crime. Uh, part of their uh, mission is lesion and assistance so that if the Australian needed something from the US, they would certainly contact the FBI Australia office and the FBI would likely assist. So, uh, Australia authorities had said previously that they witnessed involved in the case all live overseas, all live overseas. So, of course they need help and it seems help it's already there so this is a detail that i did not know now how much this can speed up things well i suppose a little bit more than if there was nobody there you know that you can communicate directly so especially when their office inside their country probably they're also more willing to cooperate for in, in you know for a matter of international affairs um, and respect for each country. So that's very interesting. Another thing that I also want to point out, and the video that it's going around of that senator talking about uh, Senator Glenn Stirl, which is speaking with other official, it's actually from October 2021. So first of all, they're not aware of what happened in the um, in the trial at Virginia. Uh, you know, Firefax. So I think that now with all this new information that came out and also with the verdict of Johnny Depp, I think that might be like a kind of maybe fueling the interest in solving this issue. So, and you remember the, the senator asking why it's taking so long already then. So now already from uh, October 2021, like seven, eight months have passed so actually a little bit more what is it like uh two months now we're the seven month like nine months have passed so kind of uh so very interesting uh would be would be nice to see if this because this is going of course uh viral you know this whole video if they're gonna come out with the new statement. So I just want to give you a brief up update on the situation here. And apparently the FBI is there. So, wow, it's real and it's ongoing. Uh, guys, please consider subscribing. Go check the other videos. We're trying to do other things, me and my alter ego. Joking, joking. Um, I'm just trying to do more stuff also on the channel. So you're welcome to check it out. The most important thing, it's you here, your comment, your presence. Thank you so much. I talk to you later.